Welcome back everyone to more Pokemon Fire Red version and Leaf Green version. Last time, we defeated Giovanni of, well, this time not of Team Rocket, but of the Viridian City Gym. Which was a plot twist to be sure. Anyways, you're probably wondering what I'm doing back in Lavender Town, but I finally got nicknames for my team members! For too long, half my team has gone completely unnamed. So, I've gotten three nickname suggestions from three different people. Each of them submitted three, um, and they were all for my team members, so... First of which, I want to rename Primeape. The nickname suggestions for Primeape go as follows. Richard Nixon. Feminist, which I can't do for obvious reasons, because out of context, that's going to look terrible. And Harambe. Now, because I want to give everyone a fair shot here, uh, the nickname that I ended up choosing for Primeape was Nixon. Submitted by Blondie KK, I believe that is how his name is pr uh, pronounced. I almost... I'm so stupid, I almost typed in Blondie. Man, okay. Nixon is the name that I'm going with here. And then... The nickname I have suge or I have uh, chosen for Doug Trio Is... Triple Deck, as submitted by uh, my good friend, La Livy. And it fits right in. Oh, and also the other the other name suggestions for Doug Trio were... Uh, oh, what were the other ones? Uh, Teddy Roosevelt and Floor Sh Pretty obvious why I can't choose that last one, because uh, I know who's watching these videos. And then the name I have uh, chosen for Arcanine. Well, okay, I'll, I'll go over the um, the names for that. They were Barack Obama, Fireball, spelled with a Y, and the one I am going with, The Dog Doing. That name? Yeah, future calamity here. I just wanted to make this brief audio recording. Uh, I want to make this quick because my mic cut during this, and it really sucks that it cut while I was thanking someone. But I want to thank my friend Omer for suggesting this name for Arcanine. Anyways, there are a couple names that didn't get picked for some of my team members because they showed up after I finished recording the video. So I just want to put those up now. Big thanks to Joxic and my friend Ty uh, for suggesting these names. Unfortunately, they were not picked. So I just want to put these on here because, yes. And I believe it is this house right here. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. It's about trading Pokemon. This is something I should have talked about like 10 videos ago. This guy wants a Poliwhirl and he will trade you a Jinx, a Pokemon you cannot find in any other dungeon in this game. And I'm very sorry for not going over Jinx when I should have, because this could have been very helpful to know for someone who might be following the series. Anyways, Jinx is obtaining. Uh, oh my. Messed that up already. Jinx is obtainable by trading a Poliwhirl, which is not difficult to obtain by this point by any, by any means at all. Jinx is a psychic and ice type, a combination exclusive to Jinx in this game. It was built to play offensively, and that definitely shows, considering it has six weaknesses and only resists its only its own types, being Psychic and Ice. However, at level 25, it'll have Ice Punch, and Ice is still special in this game, making it a great attack to have. Despite all of Jinx's weaknesses, this thing is a force to be reckoned with and is one of the best non-legendary Pokémon in the game to use, in my opinion. But I don't have a Poliwhirl. I have a Poliwag, but I don't have one to trade for a, trade for a Jinx. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Anyways, time to fly back to Viridian City and actually take on Blue and probably win. Except that I, I might not actually win because my team was very ill-prepared last time. And it's not very often that I get party wiped in this series. So anyways, let me just switch out um, Articuno for Mr. Mime. Or, sorry, Mimeon. I, I gotta start referring to these uh, Pokemon by their nicknames that I gave them. Well, I didn't even give Mimeon the nickname Mimeon, so there's that. 
Because then an, an NPC named that one. Also, yeah, Nixon needs the experience. I like how I'm immediately getting used to saying Nixon. Also, it's pretty ironic considering my primate is a female. And the only female-oriented name that I got for Primeape was Feminist, which, again, I can't use for fairly obvious reasons. This is not 2016, YouTube. I don't want to be super edgy here. I'm very sorry, but no. You collect all the badges? I already read all this. I'm still going to have the sidebars for Blue's Pokemon information. However, I'm not going to be talking too much about them because we already fought this guy. Anyways, starting off with Pidgeot. Who am I starting with again? Triple Deck. All right. Rock Doom. It's gonna be a good starting move. Also, level 47. I, in case you couldn't tell, I'm very underleveled for this. But anyways, as much as I can, uh, I'm gonna try to lower Pidgeot's speed as much as I can, because Pidgeot's main stat is speed, and being able to outspeed some of my Pokemon that may be weak to it is definitely bad. <laughs> This is all triple deck going to be really used for. Unless I have another Pokemon with rock type moves that I can use against this Charizard. Well, never mind. Triple deck's dead because Pidgeot has priority. So Rock Doom was useless. Awesome. Copy Pasta has Blizzard. I'm going to try to use that. Yeah, I missed. Oh well. Wing attack. Not going to do much because um, Copy Pasta is a tank, but yeah. There we go. Hopefully this will one-shot Pidgeot, because Blizzard's one of the strongest ice attacks in the game. Obviously behind Sheer Cold, which one-shots everything, but yeah. Nixon Crew level 38, nice. Execute. You know, I could... No, never, never mind. The dog doing would be great for this, because a uh, fire-type stab... And your attack's lowered, because I got Intimidate. Anyways, Fire Blast is going to be a weird case, because it's a lot like Blizzard. Heavy damage, but high probability to miss, and that's not going to be helped by the fact that I am now paralyzed. And my dog hit my door. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm glad I didn't use Sunny Day. Because uh, Execute's using Solar Beams. How about we put this bunch of eggs, seeds rather, to rest? Goodbye. Scrambled eggs. There we go. Rhyhorn. This is definitely a good time to use copy pasta. I still feel a little bad for naming my Vaporeon copy pasta. Um, Surf should one shot, I think. Yeah, because Rhyhorn is not a special tank at all. Copy pasta's got good. Yeah, there we go. That That was no trouble at all. Stab, quad weak. Just naming all the factors as to why I would have won that easily. And copy pasta grew to level 43. Gyarados. This could be bad, actually. Oh, wait. I should have taught Thunderbolt or whatever to Mimean. Unless Mimean already has. All I know is Mimean can get Thunderbolt. But I hope I have some sort of electric move on this. Uh, Intimidate, that's not going to matter at all, actually. Thunder Wave, eh, eh. Gyarados is a physical attacker, so I'm going to use Reflect. Well, that did a lot. Use Calm Mind just to buff my own stats. And I'm going to use Psychic. See how much damage that'll do. Rain Dance. Okay, so Hydro Pump or whatever Gyarados knows is going to do a lot of damage. And do some heavy, heavy damage. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Never mind. It could have been way worse. And I already know my means gonna level up from this because close, plus trade, plus yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh man! Yeah, that's a lot. Charizard. Oh boy. Okay. Copy pasta, I think, is a. And uh, let me just check Nixon's summary real quick. No rock moves. So yeah, copy pasta is our best bet. It's 
It sucks that Peepo is going to be pretty much useless in this fight, but hey. Surf is going to do extra damage. Wing attack's not going to do much, because tank. Oh, man. Okay. That's what you love to see. Alakaz Alakazam. Oh, no. I think this is where the run might be over. But I think Copy Pasta might have it in the bag. Reflect War Off. That's not going to be helpful against Alakazam anyways. Rain continues to... baby. Rain continues to fall, so Surf will do much more damage. But it's using Calm Mind, so that special defense is going to go up. Uh-oh. Surf better do something. Ooh. Ooh, and I don't get that extra Rain boost, so I'm going to use Bite. See how much that'll do. Copy Boss is a special tank, so this might not kill. It killed. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. I really meant it when I said Alakazam is tough. The dog doing has Thief, but it's going to be outsped because it's paralyzed. But <sighs> Intimidate works, I guess, but it's not going to be that helpful because Alakazam's not a physical attacker. Psychic is going to do a bit. Oh! No! Ah. Oh. Man, and here I was thinking this is gonna... What? Why? Why? What's the point? I already won! Never mind, I didn't win that. I could've used takedown easily. But oh well. That future sight's gonna catch me for a loop, though. <sighs> Nixon, you're kind of a liability at this point, so if you can prove your worth, that'll be great. Aerial Ace. Let's see how much that... You already used Future Sight. What are you doing? Good job, Nixon. <laughs> Nixon, crew level 39. You have to catch up with the rest of the team. What? I was just careless to you. <sighs> that loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Red, you need more practice. But hey, you know that... Hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. What a jerk. I hate this guy. But anyways, we are now fit for... The Pokemon League. Oh, that's the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. Route 23. Also, are our Pokemon healed up from that? They're not. You know what? Before I go over the new Pokemon, I might as well heal up. Okay, as I was saying, we are now fit to enter the Pokemon League, as in Route 13. 23, sorry. Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal of trainers, Pokemon League headquarters. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that's the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that's the Thunder Badge. When are we going to find grass? You know, these signs all say the same thing. You can pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. Oh, that's the Rainbow Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. And we need Surf for this. Speaking of Surf, there's a new Pokemon we can find here uh, with the Super Rod, being Poliwhirl. Stats are mediocre for now, but wait until level 35 for Body Slam and 43 for Belly Drum. Body Slam hits hard and can induce paralysis, and Belly Drum deals half of H half HP to, um, of recoil damage to max out its own attack stat. Use a Water Stone to evolve it into Poliwrath, a decent dual wall with solid uh, physical attack. You can also choose to wait until a post game to evolve it into Politoed or trade it for Jinx. You can pass here only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that's the Soul Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Any hidden items here? A Max Ether. Glad I checked. And Wild Pokemon. Nice. That's what you love to see in the climactic final area. I already have a Psyduck, have no reason to go for one. 
And triple dex fast so I can run from pretty much anything. You can pass here only if you have the marsh badge. Oh, that's the marsh badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. And here we have it. The tall grass. Meaning we've got new Pokemon to find here. Thanks. Okay, great. It's not Spearow. Anyways, the first Pokemon we can find here is Arbok, which is only in Pokemon Fire Red. This is one of the most mediocre poison types out there. It's built for offense, but poison just does not deliver on that front, and it's de and it's decimated by Earthquake and Psychic. Only positive thing it's go it has going for it is having the ability Intimidate, but that's not enough to redeem it. If you want a better poison type, just go get a Tentacruel. As for Leaf Green, you can get Sand Slash, which I guess sucks a little less. Um, its stats let it work as a physical wall that can hit hard, but its weaknesses are entirely special in this game, and two of them are very common types, being Grass and Water. Level up moves are shallow, as Slash, the strongest move it can possibly get by level up, was available 20 levels ago. Just like Arbok, it's greatly outclassed, and a better ground type can be found in the very next uh, dungeon. And the final Pokemon we can find here is actually on a positive note. Primeape, the fastest fighting type Pokemon in the entire game as a whole. I don't have much to say about it other than it's a solid physical sweeper. I use one, so if you like the playstyle you've already seen, you'll like Primeape. You can only pass here if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that's the Volcano Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Why did I bother looking? Anyways... This is the final part of uh, Route 23. Well, not really the final final part, but hey. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that's the Earth Badge. How'd you get that? The gym was out of order for like... Four months, I don't know. Victory Road, the final dungeon in the game. And being the final dungeon in the game, there is one new Pokemon we can find here. Marowak, the ground type that outclasses Sandslash. If you regretted not raising a Cubone back in Lavender Town, now's your chance to catch its evolution. It's very slow, but has an attack, uh, a solid attack stat and can work well as a dual wall. It can learn Thrash almost immediately at the levels it can be found at. However, the main draw about it that I wouldn't really want go that I really don't like about it is that it's very rare. But if you can find one, it'll make a great addition to the team. Anyways, in Victory Road, we've got a strength puzzle here. I immediately know what I want to do here. Nixon, use strength to push our boulders, and also find wild Pokemon. Ooh, Machoke. You know, fighting these wild Pokemon will actually be pretty good for getting our levels up, so not really opposed to this. Earthquake. Yeah, clearly we need to work on that. Vital Throw. That's gonna... Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, no, I definitely don't like that. I think I might want to have uh, Nixon out front, because we're going to be finding a lot of uh, fighting type. Well, we're going to be finding Machoke here a lot. Now, you already may know that I am not a, very, I'm not a fan of strength puzzles, but hey. Onyx, okay, Nixon can deal with this easily. Cross chop. Yeah, Onyx has lower physical attack than an Oddish, and I still think that's absolutely hilarious. Dragon Breath, like that's gonna do anything at all. Ah, okay, never mind. There is the stipulation of paralysis. Her -da -der -da -der. And I still landed that second cross chop. I'm very proud of Primeape. Sorry, Nixon. Okay. This is where things get a little awkward. Except I already know what I gotta do, because I am smart man who also beat the game this remake was based on a year prior. I don't know. And let's go, the remake to Yellow, which I did not like, and uh, I'm probably gonna play on a separate channel anyways. Oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Are you- okay, I need to put repels up. So much for- oh, this'll be good to get our levels up. I'm sick of it. Already sick of it. Cross chop. These Geodudes are so low level, they're not even worth my time. Oh, 
All right. Okay. As I said, repels now. If I have any. I have 10 super repels. I think eh, that'll work. That'll work for now. All right. Duh. Duh. I need to have my strongest team member out front. Come on, dude. Oh, wait. Repels aren't going to work as my strongest team member. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm underleveled. I have copy pasta out front. I'm under leveled. Repels aren't gonna do anything. But hey, at least Vaporeon's gonna just be a powerhouse and absolutely decimate all the Onyxes and Geodudes here that'll possibly try to get in my way. No, I should have grinded off camera for a while, but no. Also, can't do anything there, so. Take a walk. Take a stroll. Find some wild Pokemon. Cry yourself to sleep. That is a level 44 Golbat. I'm using Blizzard. Now I can't run. I should have ran beforehand. Ah, oh, well. And Blizzard's gonna miss a lot, so. Ah, that's tough, dude. That's tough. There we go. My voice cracked a little. Oh, NPCs. You're going to be finding a lot of these. I wonder if you're good enough for me. Yeah, NPCs are going to be very annoying here. Because they're strong! Ugh! Alright. We're going to be finding a lot of um, fire and water types in here, I imagine. Anyways, we've got a strength puzzle right there to get an item. Two items, actually. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Yeah, this one sucks. You have to... Choose uh, one item not to get. Just so you can get the other. I'm gonna chance it and go for the one right here. Rare candy. That'll actually be pretty good on uh, Primate. Because she needs to catch up. But hey, if you, ref if you refresh the area, you can... Uh, just immediately. Yeah. You can, uh, you're able to get the other item if you refresh the area is what I mean. Anyways. Once I stop being ambushed by these little nerds. Big jocks in this case. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna carry on. I'm gonna have to take a stroll. And not a, a, a jog. And if you want to leave, now's your chance. But I don't want to. I want to fight this NPC. Come on, dude. Well, at least it gets my levels up. Whatever, dude. I should have used Sunny Day right before. I, actually, no, I shouldn't have because Charizard would have a damage boost. Come on. You can survive this. You've taken worse. Welp. That's a party wipe. Out of usable Pokemon, so... That's a lot of money that I just gave away. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's a good uh, stopping point. The, if this isn't a testament to just how underleveled I am, I don't know what is. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to traverse Victory Road. And actually get through the entirety of it. Hopefully, next time. See you guys then.